What's going on, my ninjas? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tracer Tuesday. Once again, my name is Lucas Harrelson, and today's topic was requested by my friend from the first video I had, James Williamson, and today's topic is professional parkour. Is it a thing? Um, can people really do it? Uh, should we try to do it? It's a very, very controversial topic because a lot of people in the community think parkour should not be, uh, you know, categorized as a sport. First, I'm going to tell you guys why it is so controversial. You see, a lot of tracers and free runners out there do not see parkour as a sport at all. They see parkour as a way of life and a means of expression that should not be put into competitive sports like you see in the art of motion or that you probably saw in Jump City Seattle. Jump City Seattle didn't even get a second season because of it. And like in MTV's Ultimate Parkour Challenge, it, it stirred up a lot of kids in the community because they didn't want to feel like they were in a sport. They didn't want to feel like they were doing anything for, you know, a prize, you know, um, because what that does is it tells kids like, hey, you're not better than this person. And that's why you didn't get this prize in parkour. A lot of kids really don't like that because that's not why they got into it. It's not why I got into it. I didn't get into parkour to be better or as good as somebody else. Almost every free runner and tracer that I know surely got into parkour because they wanted to be the best that they could be and master their body and in doing so master themselves, which, you know, really hits home with me. It, it's very, uh, it's, it's hard to talk about because everyone that I know that does parkour would absolutely love to be able to make money doing it. But as far as it being the like only reason that you're doing parkour in my eyes, if you're only doing parkour to make money or if you're only free running to make money, you shouldn't be training at all. I mean, like, you know, even if you do consider it a sport, even if some people do consider free running or parkour a sport, there are so many athletes out there that will tell you that they did not start playing their sport surely for the purpose of making money. And it's the same with artists. Artists who do sell their artwork. And parkour, you know, being physical art, it's, you know, kind of tied in with both of them. Artists don't surely make art to sell it and they make it to express themselves and, and show their style just like we all do in free running. Now there are a lot of us in the community that do make money doing parkour by you know being YouTube famous and people clicking on their ads or people out there who are sponsored by clothing companies and they get, you know, money for promoting their product. Um, but, you know, if the opportunity shows itself and you get the opportunity to become like a stunt man, more power to you. But that should not be the reason why you started doing parkour. There are a lot of pros out there, you know, there's a really big one, you know, out there right now is Jesse LaFlair. Same with his friend Corey DeMyers. There's also Jason Paul, you know, all of Team Ferenc. There's Team Justian. None of them, not a single one of them, started doing parkour and started free running to make money. Because around the time when they got into it, it you couldn't make money doing it, really. You know, and when I first got into parkour almost six years ago, um, I didn't start because I wanted to make money doing it and I saw it as a great opportunity to be a, you know, a different kind of athlete. I mean, I enjoy being a different kind of athlete and a different kind of artist, but I got into parkour because I loved it. Oleg Vorslav once said, there was no question as to why I'm doing this. It's just love. And I just love to move. And I have to agree with that. 
You should not be in parkour or freerunning to make money. You should be in parkour and freerunning because you love it. Just like anything else. You shouldn't be into anything if you just want to make money doing it. Otherwise, there's no passion. There's no love. It just becomes a job. There's plenty of other ways to make money doing parkour. Besides, you know, being a professional athlete, you can be a teacher, you know, you can teach kids, you know, kids who just started, you can take them under your wing and show them the way of the tracer, show them the path of the free runner and show them the real beauty and movement and expressing yourself through the environment that was given to you. It's a beautiful thing when you think about it. But it's not a beautiful thing to think about doing it just to make bank. It's really not. Although I personally would love to make money doing parkour because it would, you know, be honestly one of the best opportunities in the world. It's not the reason why I got into it. It's not the reason why any of us got into it. The opportunity prevents itself. Seize it. But don't do it for that cause. With that said, thank you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy February. Hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.